Hello guys and guys, welcome to another album reaction video and today um, we have Quadeca's new album I Didn't Mean to Haunt You. Now this album has, um, ju just like Joji Smithereens, this has been quite some time coming. Uh, after the the great reception of From Me To You, I'm, I'm expecting a lot of great hits on this album. There was Born Yesterday, which is kind of just like this album's own Sisyphus, but better in every way. And then there's Tell Me A Joke, which is which is such an intricate song with a beautiful music video along with it. Uh, I just I just love both of, both of these singles and I'm really excited for this album. Now with this one, we have a album movie for this release. Uh, so this is gonna be more of a watching a YouTube video instead of listening on Spotify, but yeah. So here it is. Uh, we are just patiently waiting on Quadeca's page. Uh, the album movie should be coming out at 3 and it is 301. Let's see here. It's still not out yet. He's a little late guys. He's a little late. So what to expect from this album? Well, it's actually not as long as From Me To You. Well, according by the amount of tracks here. Um, from Me To You was about 18. Or, or 16 16 or 18 I can't remember um, not not including the deluxe tracks which added to the length uh, but here's I didn't mean to haunt you track list it's 1 through 11 we have sorry for dying tell me a joke don't mind me picking up hands born yesterday the memories we lost in translation house settling featuring Danny Brown knots fantasy world fractions of infinity featuring the Sunday service choir Wow and Cassini's Division, featuring Thor Harris. So this is quite an in interesting name. These are quite interesting names. Here it is. Um, it's not appearing on the YouTube channel. I had to click a different link. Uh, but here it is, uh, the full album movie. And we let's read the description. Here's the full album movie for the new Quadeca album, I Didn't Mean to Haunt You. I spent 15 months straight dedicating my life to this project. Everything is entirely written, produced, and mixed by me, and it means a lot to me. Feel free to pull up the lyrics on Genius while you listen to watch, or just close your eyes and feel it. Either way, I appreciate you. Well, that's very nice. 57 minutes, 57 minutes, alrighty. I might pull up the lyrics later on Genius, uh, cause it doesn't seem they've updated. Uh, I'm not, Oh, wait. Yeah, no. Yeah, we'll have to wait for that a little longer. <laughs> uh, but yeah, here it is. And we're going to appreciate it. We're going to appreciate this album. Because it's been a long time coming for this one. After From Me To You. Singles were great. I want to hear the rest of this. Let's do this. I know that snippet. So this is sorry for dying. Okay. Come to think about it, it's all in my head. Ooh. This is This is reminding me of all my life in front of the Lux. Sorry for Dying starts out with a massive cinematic buildup and it slows down to begin the story. The tapping piano and Quadeca's bounce to his vocal delivery easily makes this a solid intro to what the album has in store. The breakdown is the best part with the vocal sound included. Right away, we are already introduced to this sound that Quadeca made for himself. This is evolution. Looking, looking at his discography from the past, this is... Th this is it. He has reached perfection. Wow. And here we are at Tell Me a Joke. That was a. That yeah, was like a four minute and 40 second song. Alright. I, I actually just <laughs> listened to Tell Me a Joke earlier. Uh, but we'll listen to it again. Experience the full album. Tell Me A Joke scratches your ears in the best way possible with the drums and the distorted guitar, along with the laughing samples that play throughout. It's haunting, yet symbolizes a beauty with the frantic movement. So it seems, 
story-wise, the ghost is trying to get into this house. Whose house it is? I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Great fit. Fantastic fit. He looks handsome. Uh, from what I remember, this was filmed in Norway, Ireland, from what I, from what I remember reading. <clears throat> To get the feel of this um, this haunting feeling for the album. Okay. So sort of a mix between movie visuals and the um, songs, uh, music video and visuals. Next, yeah, don't mind me. I'm just waiting to hear um, Gone Gone and Back by Popular Demand. Don't Mind Me delivers the same ear candy we heard before, and we get some fast rapping Quadek here, which is something that we all know for him. It hits more in the feels though. Oh, tongues. Okay, I couldn't catch a lot of that. But, but I really felt the energy with that. The dog's fighting. Oh, there's a the snare. <laughs> I remember he posted a video on Twitter uh, showing um, some, so, so, something on the piano, but I can't remember what it what it sounded like. I have to check back on that, see if it's actually on here. Wait, G minor. Really like that. That was a good uh, shot. This. Was a snippet? I'm pretty sure. Ooh. That trickles my ears. There's so many shots here that are so well done. I don't know which ones to use for a thumbnail. <laughs> Yes. Picking Up Hands is a track that hits even harder with the guitar and Quadega's vocal delivery in a very down mood. I really like the visual of playing fetch with the dog. It's a haunting, cute feeling with the song layered with it. A lot of ear candy. That made perfect sense until you say them out loud. Okay, I couldn't catch a lot of that. Hold, hold on. We're, we're in Born Yesterday now, but I want to go back. It makes perfect sense until you say to my lad. Still can't quite catch a lot of it. There's a lot of um, filtering there. Hey, we're in Born Yesterday now. My favorite song. Well, I'm liking all of these so far. These are all my favorite songs. I have this. I'm um, from MeTU Vinyl Buyer. And I'll. And I got a poster, right? I, I have this exact shot for my poster that I got. I, I was always wondering what like what the the line was on there, but I realized it's it's the cassette tape. Or like um, is it a different name? I'm not sure. But call it cassette tape. Whatever. <laughs> Also to know, this got a different mix on streaming services. The main main point of it, um, the you want her, you need her part, um, there's a bit of a different vocal effect to it. Born Yesterday brings it back up with a powerful ballad with everything Ben has in production and best represents the sound of the album. 
The bridge also really tugs the heartstrings. She no longer needs you. Also, my favorite part in the um, song. So much um, intensity and emotion in that um, um, verse. <laughs> And so well done. I think the mix is different here as well. Now this is... Wow, okay. Nice transition. This is Memories We Lost in Translations. Translation. The Memories We Lost in Translation is a bit of an interlude here, transitioning well between the tracks, both at start and end. In the movie, it shows different videos of what is assumed to be a young Ben, but now as it goes, the memories are disappearing, or have already disappeared. That eerie sounds again. <gasps> is that young Ben? Young Quadeca? Love these. Oh, it stopped. Is this is this the next track? I, I I don't know. There's no uh, there's no names here. Oh my god! This is pulling my heart. Oh my god! How settling is a lot of anger that builds up in this ballad with the pounding drums and fast eerie sounds. This is also delivered by Danny Brown's verse, which apparently is from the perspective of carbon monoxide. That's crazy. Oh my god. <sighs> this is so intense. And I love it. I couldn't, I couldn't catch a lot of it. But I really felt it still. A lot of the lyrics. Is that the end of that track? It's very hard to tell. <laughs> there it is, okay. Wow, okay, I have to stop it right there. Oh my God. That, uh, it, was, it was like pulling me. All those sounds, um, the, vo the vocal delivery, the flows, all the ear candy. Oh my god, it was pulling me so hard. The um, one specific lyric, you're dead to me, just echoed throughout the entire song. It, it was repeating, repeating in my head. Oh my god. And Danny Brown did good on that. They did good on that verse. Oh my god. <laughs> What's the next track? <laughs> Knots, okay. <laughs> Uh, oh my god. Oh, it was really pulling me. Really pulling me. It was such intense. So much emotion. And it's been like that through the entire album. And I, fuck, I fucking love it. Oh my god. Let's keep going. Nods. Okay.
Nonce is the next track in which the anger explodes. It's a bombastic song that almost scares you. Nonce feels way different compared to the rest of the songs here, and at times just sounds like noise, but that's what makes it interesting to me. Reading the lyrics, I understand the messiness of the song if the intent was messy. It's still beautiful in a way. It just caught me off guard, which is why I didn't have overly positive initial thoughts. It did grow on me though. This is creepy. <laughs> It's also creepy. Sat. That also looks like a face. That was, um, a lot um it did f feel like something Quadec would only make and I strangely like it I mean so far this album has been very intricate sounds and this one just bombastically just explodes in your face it seems it's quite an interesting track. I don't think I love it. I do have to listen to the lyrics or read the lyrics. That was, that was very interesting. Not, I don't, I don't totally love it. So I think this is my first least favorite track of the album. Like I, I like it. But it's not. It's not what we've seen from the past um, songs here, especially the last one, which was put me in the massive emotional state. Um. Yeah. Well, let's just um. Let's just keep going with the next one being Fantasy World. <laughs> Still waiting for Gone Gone and Back by Popular Demand. <laughs> Was this the piano I need to go from the poster ARG? I heard it was one of those tracks where it's just a piano. Let's check back on that. Oh my god. Fantasy World brings it back down with a beautiful piano ballad that explodes in the best way possible. It honestly sounds like an outro, but the album keeps going from here. Oh my god. <sighs> you brought it back. You brought it back up, Quadek. <laughs> you brought it back up. Oh my god, and we're still, like, two more tracks. That keeps going. Don't don't look at me like that. <laughs> All right. Well. <laughs> um. Yep. Fractures of Infinity with the Sunday Service Choir and Cassini's Division. Floor Harris. Oh God, I love this. Fractions of Affinity is another track that hits hard with Quadeca delivering some excellent flows and a more fine attitude. And the choir is such a nice addition to close out the song. Is that the choir? I like that. That was what I was kidding. Oh, that's the choir. <laughs> wow. Is this an 8 minute final song? Consini's Division closes out with what seems to be a monologue with statements that evolve letting go and let Quadeca go to the afterlife and he didn't want his death to be exposed to this other person. I'm not sure how accurate that is, 
but it is a magical sounding outro for what is otherwise a very heartbreaking monologue. Don't let go of me. I love these sounds. <laughs> Very hard to hear um, what, what he's saying. Oh my god. This is hard to catch a lot of that. I need to read the lyrics later. <laughs> Oh my god. Wow. Wait. happening <laughs> okay this is getting a little very entertaining now I, I hope it's not actually part part of the song <laughs> whichever track it is very <clears throat> very tempted to skip through <laughs> I don't wanna ah uh. I didn't mean to haunt you. How's it? I've always stayed true to me. <laughs> and I've really so. so how long really was that? <laughs> like five minutes and then the rest of that was just a bunch of static edging the audience. Ben. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, that was a whole experience. A lot of intensity, emotion throughout this album. And then Nods. <laughs> um, Nods is kind of just um, left field for this album. I don't know. I don't have much to say about it. It was really bombastic. It kind of just exploded in my face. Um, wow. I, I see how much effort was put into this album, and it was a lot. It was a lot. Oh my god. I love every second of it. A little bit of knots. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, wow. It, it had me on the edge of tears a lot of the times, and oh my god. That was... Su such an incredible album. I feel he Quadeca is really involved. I I've listened to his entire discography at this point. And from work in progress to this, that's incredible. That is incredible evolution in a music artist. There there's nothing like it. Just just from YouTube rapper who made a diss track on KSI at one point to this singer, songwriter, best music producer, best music producer. He produces all himself. And it's incredible. It's really f fucking incredible. I... I wish there was. I wish there was a little bit more. <laughs> to be honest, I wish there was a little more. But I feel like I don't. I don't think this album needs that. I don't think it needs that. Little, a little sad. There was no um, "Gone Gone" or "Back by Popular Demand" um, parts in this album. Those were my favorite unreleased. Uh, tracks for a good while 
But man, this this is all this album needs. This movie and the music. Like the visuals are so cool, it's so well shot, it's so well directed, it's so good. Oh my god, I love it. And knots, sort of. <laughs> oh man. I don't know what else to say. I, I definitely need to read a lot of the lyrics because I couldn't quite catch a lot of it. Let's see if they updated. It, it's been a while. It's been an hour. Um, let's see if there's anything. Um, yeah, they, they all no longer say in release. Is there something? Okay. Hold on. I want to read some of these lyrics. I'm going to pause this recording right here. All right, so I just read through all of the lyrics and... Wow, it is intense and emotional, just like the music. Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> wow, it's a. I, I had to. I had to like keep listening to this album, man, because all of the parts are are hard to catch. Um, I do want to wear it with like my Bluetooth headphones, not these headphones. Uh, <laughs> man, that's gonna be it. That's gonna be it for today's album reaction. This album is really fantastic. Uh, I would say a lot of my, like my favorites are Born Yesterday, Tell Me a Joke, House Settling. Um, yeah, Tell Me a Joke, Born Yesterday, and House Settling. Those are my favorite tracks. A lot, a lot of the earlier stuff is in the, a lot of the earlier tracks in the album are my favorite tracks. Uh, later on, there's Knots. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I, I still, j just to refrain, I like knots. I, I just don't totally love it. it. It feels a little bit not part of the album, honestly. Um, like, I read the lyrics. It, it does, it is part of the album, but just musically, I don't love it. I only like it because it's interesting. There's a difference. So yeah, that, this is like a 9 out of 10 album. 9 out of 10 album. Um, a lot of the parts are hard to catch on. So definitely I need to go through a couple of listens of this album. Uh, man. This was great. This is a great album. Such an incredible experience. And... Th this is... This is... Quadeca's reached his full evolution. From work in progress, all the way up to here, I didn't mean to haunt you. He, he, this is incredible evolution, and I can't wait to see what he do to see what he does next. I don't, I don't know how he's gonna top this. I don't know how. Um, of course, I I feel like um, I feel like we could expect a break from him. Uh, just working on uh, full on album experiences, cause it did kind of. Um, he, he did kind of just latch on into this um, album's production after um, releasing From Me To You. So I assume, I, I assume, um, I'm hoping he takes a break actually. Because uh, man, that was quite a lot. Still a little sad, there's no Gone Gone or Back By Popular, Back By Popular Demand uh, parts in this album. Where, where is it Quad? Where is it? Where is it, man? Anyways, I'll, I'll joke inside. That, that was it. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more content. Um, great album. Stream, I didn't mean to haunt you. Watch the full video. I'm, I'm linking all this stuff in the description. And I'll see you later. Guns and Gunnets.